Welcome, this is HR That Works President Don Finn, and I am just going to spend a few minutes with you sharing the single most powerful question you want to ask when you're interviewing somebody. I've had the wonderful opportunity of having hired some high-end executives for companies around the country, and I've really studied what makes for a good interview. And if there's one thing I've realized, so much of what I see out there in interviewing is kind of a dance around the middle and really doesn't push to the extremes that are so important. And the emotional extreme of that person's personal culture is really defined by how they deal with what feels unfair to them. As I say in all my workshops, it defines both the culture of an individual and the culture of an organization, how they deal with what feels unfair to us. Do we deal with it in a way that I'm proud of? Do I deal with it in a way I have no regret associated with it afterwards? So you might want to ask that question, how am I dealing with what feels unfair to me? But when I'm interviewing somebody, I will go through their job history and I'll ask them, what felt, you, felt unfair to you at this job? Now, if they tell you nothing, guess what? They're lying. If nothing felt unfair to them at that job, then why are they here interviewing with you unless the company went out of business, okay? I, I've known business owners and things feel unfair to them about the, the, their own company. So there's typically nobody who can be honest in saying that nothing's ever felt unfair to them. And when they tell you what felt unfair to them, and you make sure you drill in and you push them to tell you this stuff, then you ask them why. As a Six Sigma trainer would say, five whys, okay? So why did that feel unfair? They give the answer, why that, why that? And then you'll get their personality on full display. And you're gonna go through anything else at the job, last job feel unfair to you. No, okay, let's go to the job before that. And you exhaust that question through their entire employment history, because I guarantee you this, at some point in working for you, something's gonna feel unfair to them, and I wanna know how they're gonna deal with that before I hire them. Now, as I say in the workshops, imagine you were smart enough to ask that question when you were dating. Some of you still have that opportunity. What felt unfair to you about the last guy, the last gal? Because chances are that might show up with me. I wonder how you deal with that stuff. Now, one of the things we always have difficulty doing is getting good reference checks anymore. You know, the lawyers have convinced companies to shut stuff down. So what I encourage com companies to do is to ask this individual, who are the three people who know you best? And then when you get that person, it might be their mom, their brother, their husband, their best buddy, some they work with at the previous company, what question are you going to ask them? What did Bob tell you felt unfair to him about his last job? And I guarantee you they're not going to be prepared for that question. And I guarantee you that there will be many occasions where those best friends or family members tell you something that that person told them, because who else are they going to tell them more than these people, that that person wasn't willing to disclose to you. And I'm not going to hire somebody who's trying to hide their employment history. So hopefully use that question. You know, the opposite end of the question extreme you should also ask, what were you excited about in the last job? and try to get into some detail about that. And you're gonna to say to yourself, can I, where this is where they get excited about things, can I use that knowledge here? Or that passion here? So this is absolutely the most powerful question to ask in the interviewing process. Make sure you do it sometime, rather make sure you do it the next time that you hire somebody. Thank you.